Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Palm Indoor Outdoor Pendant. This is the 364201. Awesome fixture, very beautiful. Nice glass comes with it too, we'll get into in just a little bit. Let's get into the size of the fixture, independent of the rods that it's hanging from, coming in at 29.1 inches tall. The diameter is 30.4, so it's a pretty good size. Overall height, that's the distance from the bottom of the fixture to the actual ceiling itself is going to give you a pretty good range, 34.1 to 64.1, and that's going to be just using the rods and these pipes that come with it automatically. However, this is going to ship with 120 inches of wire, which means if you need this to be longer than 64 inches from the ceiling coming down, we can just order extra pipes for you. There's a small added cost. Email me and tell me what you need as far as the overall height goes, and I can kind of go from there. We can go from there. It's 120 inches of wire that you get to play with, so there's quite a bit you can do. Let's talk about a little bit more on this stuff, and let's look at the installations instructions right now because they're going to give you some good added bonus information. On that side of your screen, midway down, there's a link. It's going to say, click here for installations, instructions, PDF. Open that up for me. It is going to show you a full parts list, all these little parts. It's going to show you that you're going to be getting... Uh, let's see, two pieces of the 12 inch, one piece of the 6 inch, one piece of the 3 inch, automatically that's what's going to come with it, and a bunch of little connectors. And again, these things come as kits, so again, if you need this to be longer than 64.1, email me so we can kind of go over what you need. Very simple to use. Um, as far as assembly goes, you're really just going to kind of put a towel down or maybe a blanket or something on a table. You're going to figure out what you need for these. And there's a chart on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont. It's also on the installations instructions page we talked about a second ago. It's going to show you which combinations of which rods you use to get to the overall heights that are listed there. That's from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. So you're going to put your rods down. You're going to put the fixture down that has the wire. You're going to put the canopy down at that side. And you're just going to fish those wires through the little parts one by one. They go in really easy, and then you're basically just going to screw, the, screw it together. So it takes a quick second to do this, and once it's done, you can barely even see the seam. It's super, super tight, very beautifully milled. And then the wires are going to exit that canopy on the ceiling, and that canopy is a 5.5-inch round canopy. It's going to go over your standard 4-inch junction box, and there's some pretty good drawings of that canopy on those installations instructions so you can see what it looks like. This only weighs about 12 pounds so it's super light. You don't have to worry about any kind of weight restriction at all. It is not slope ceiling adaptable as is. If you're going to be using this inside and, and going to be using it on a slope, we do custom versions of it with a slope adapter. Email me about that and we can talk to you in detail. Okay. Why don't we talk about glass really quick. So the glass on this is going to be using Hubberton Forge's beautifully made glass it's going to be closed on top, very substantial. This is pretty thick glass. There's going to be two versions of this you can get. This is the opal one, and I'll talk more about opal a little later. <clears throat> and then the other one is going to be called seeded clear, which is going to be just what it sounds like. So it's seeded clear, little air bubbles in it. You'll be able to see the socket set up in the bulb. Uh, but it gives you um, a, a different look as far as this goes. So that's your glass on it. And then... Um, let's talk about candelabra sockets and, and what you can do with it inside of that glass. So you've got five of these going on. These are type B candelabra sockets. They're the smaller ones, okay? If you guys want to stick with old school incandescents, you can do that. 60 watts in each of these if you like. No reason not to. And they dim beautifully, don't forget. However, if you guys want to do LEDs, and that's what this is, you can do LEDs too. And these come frosted and they come clear. This is a um, phosphorus one. That's what those little orange... Uh, lines are inside. Sometimes they're pads. Easy to get. I can get them at a drugstore. I can get them at a dollar store. I can get them at Home Depot and True Value and any of those hardware stores. Easy to get on Amazon without a problem. And again, there's no really limit to this as far as what it can get it, it physically into the glass. And that glass is a pretty good size and this fits in beautifully. Most of them are going to be this diameter anyway. It's just a standard among light bulbs for this, for this type of thing. So, but if you do want to go with these in 60 watt max um, for incandescent for the heat generated by that, the only uh, caveat to this, like I said, is the physical size of the bulb getting in that glass. I have found these online for up to 75 watt equivalent LED. So that's pretty cool. Uh, 75 watts equivalent LED. So, but do you need that many? You've got five of these, <clears throat> so I don't necessarily think you have to go that much. They're easy to get in a 60 watt equivalent. I would probably go with that. They're also going to offer these to you in different types of color of the light coming out of it. We talk about it in every video. 
So 2700 Kelvin, that's going to be a super yellow light, kind of a setting sun. They're also going to offer these to you in something called daylight, and daylight sounds like it should be warm, but it is not. That's going to be kind of an overcast day or a hospital waiting room light, that bluish white light. But they're also going to offer these to you in something called soft white and warm white, and that's the glow of an incandescent bulb we all grew up with. And that's the nice light coming down on my hands right now from these 3000 Kelvin LEDs. So what I would probably do, I would probably go for 60 watt equivalent, and I would probably go for the phosphorus one like this, <clears throat> clear. And sometimes these come in a flame tip too. So if you're doing actually the, uh, the clear seated glass, you might want to go for the flame tip version of this so it looks kind of like a candle. It's a dimmable fixture without any problems. Just make sure you buy your bulbs that say dimmable on them and you're good to go. I want to touch base on Hubberton Forge's opal glass for just a second. So all of Hubberton Forge's glass to begin with is going to be hand blown. This piece is hand blown first and clear. Then they're going to come in and they're going to blow another layer of white glass on the inside of this. The third step is they're going to take and they're going to sandblast the whole thing on the inside and the outside. That's going to give you this beautiful, mellow, translucent, milky piece of glass. When you look at this and you can see the layers are actually piled up on the inside of this. Hubbardson Forge is very obsessed about details on all of their pieces, including their glass. And that's why you're here, because you're probably just as obsessed about little details as well. Hubberton Forge only uses aircraft grade aluminum to make their outdoor fixtures. Aluminum holds up the best in incredibly harsh environments. When you're out and you look up in the sky and you see all those jet airliners running around up there, those are all made out of aluminum for a reason. And part of that reason is it, it, it uh, holds up great, like I said. It also forges beautifully. It holds finish beautifully. It doesn't rust. Remember that? It's very important. And they're virtually indestructible when they're all finished. So how Hubberton does it is they take the fixture itself, they're going to wire it up at the top, they're going to put a wire at the bottom, they're going to send a current of electricity that's going to go through this fixture, making it positive, and they put it into a spray booth with a picture of the woman next to me. You can see she's spraying finish around it, and because it's positive, it's going to adhere to every nook, every cranny, the top, the bottom, the whole thing. After that, they're going to take this and they're going to move it into an oven. That oven is going to melt all of that down and create a very hard shell. Uh, so it makes it, again, virtually indestructible. So they've also tested these things in these wind chambers. So they, they, take and they take the fixture, all covered in that epoxy powder coat. It's going to go into that chamber. They're going to shoot salty seawater at it at high velocity for hours and hours and hours, just like you were at the beach and you have a, uh, like a hurricane coming in, which to me is going to be pretty much the worst environment you're going to run into. So after they tested these and found out that they hold up incredibly well, Hubberton Forge offers basically the best warranty in the lighting industry. And you can see that on the page for this. So if you scroll down a little bit, there's a link, and click on that, and it'll, it'll show you the entire warranty and how it all works. Okay, showroom. Our showroom in Vermont has over 400 Hubberton Forge fixtures. This is the biggest showroom in the world at Hubberton Forge. No other showroom is like this. Hubberton Forge doesn't even have their own showroom. They use this one. Uh, what's on display? We have a great tab on that. On, in those same red tabs, you're going to see a what's on display page. So open that up. It's going to show you everything we have on display, and including which finish, which shade, all of those things, and what kind of glass it's on there. We're open every day except Sunday, 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We also have an amazing clearance center. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued stuff, showroom samples. You have to come here to use it. Can't call us or email us about it, but it's definitely worth coming in to look at if you're in Vermont. Plus, you want to use the showroom anyway because there's just so much great stuff here to see. Our number in Vermont, 802-446-2400. You can email us seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Love to answer emails, and it's sales at handmadeinvermont.com. So when you order from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is going to be free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns, no restocking fee. Nobody else does that. Some larger items are going to be non-returnable. It's going to be really important that you are looking at the fixture on that page and kind of scroll down under, under the description. It'll tell you if that is the case. And that's usually for really big, giant, huge fixtures, mostly that go out on pallets. Okay, that's it. Rush program. Let's talk about that. So rush program. Hubberton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to go out the door. That's production time before your transit time. You always have to add that on, too. We offer a rush program that takes you from that three to four weeks down to a little under two weeks, 
it's it's a very small addition per line item so if you have like one two three items like let's say three or four outdoor sconces and they're all the same size and they're all the same finish that's one line item so it's very inexpensive to rush those kind of things don't be afraid to email us and ask about that okay so that's really it if you guys have any other questions let us know we would love to see you in our showroom sometime and thanks for stopping in